Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gator with the Hunter Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. And today I want to talk about the fact that the Ravens versus the Chiefs is going to open off the 2024-2025 NFL season, all right? So um, the NFL schedule will be officially released in its totality, I believe, on Wednesday, right? So when that happens, I'll talk about it in full that night. You know, we'll uh, discuss it. Uh, maybe we will talk about some wins and losses, right? But um, as far as we know, we know game number one. We know when game number one is going to be played. It's going to be the defending champion Chiefs. Um, you know, they're going to have their ring ceremony, and they're going to play the Ravens, okay? So, um, for me, there's a couple things that I think about when I see this game. I think it's a great opportunity, if I'm being quite honest. Hold on one second. Sorry, I had some background noise. So, uh, I think it's a great opportunity, to be quite honest, right? Um, I don't really, I'm not really buying into the whole, this is the revenge game, this is the get back, we're going to put the Chiefs on notice. I, I don't really care about any of that, I'm a, and I'm going to tell you why, right? Number one, it's a brand new season, right? All that stuff from last year, if you wanted it, if you wanted to show the Chiefs something, just show them that in the playoffs last year, right? I don't really care about the revenge portion of it. That, that, that doesn't really move me in any kind of way, all right? Um, also, I mean, the Chiefs are the ones that's getting the ring, so if, they, if you beat them they lose game one, they still got the ring from last year, you know, so... I'm not really onto that whole it's a revenge tour or nothing, okay? But I do think it's a great opportunity for this reason, right? It's kind of, Ravens are kind of in a win-win, no-lose kind of situation here when I when I kind of how I view this game, right? You get the Chiefs week one early on in the season, right? When we don't know really what each team is going to be, right? So you're not playing the Chiefs later on in the year with the division with number one seed on the line or anything like that. You play them early on in the season, so... Both teams are going to be trying to figure out who they are, right? That's a, that's an advantage in a way, okay? Also, um, if you lose the first game of the season, it's only game number one, right? It's not a make or break game uh, near the end of the year where they needed this game, things like that. Uh, no, listen, every NFL game is important because you only get 17 of them and things like that. But still, um, I like the idea of playing the Chiefs early on, probably your toughest game of the season, and get that out the way, right? I like that idea. Also, it gets to show you where your team is at. Smack that right off the bat, right? You don't have to do no guessing. Uh, well, what happens when we play a team of this caliber? You're playing a team of that caliber right away, all right? And, you know, as far as who the Chiefs are going to have available, you know, with things, everything that's going on with Rasheed Rice in the offseason, I mean, it's looking like he he's probably going to be suspended. I, I, you know, if I had to guess, he would be suspended. But, you know, I don't think anything official has come out on that, right? So they're going to be down one of their, their best playmakers from the previous year, right? So um, for me, it's a great opportunity, right? Uh, I don't think that the Ravens or Ravens fans should have any kind of worry or trepidation about playing the Chiefs in the first game of the year, right? I don't think outside of, right, this is the only way, okay? When the Ravens won the Super Bowl and we had to play the game in Denver because the Orioles scheduled the same night and whatever, all, all of that craziness, right, that happened, Outside of the Ravens getting embarrassed by, you know, the Broncos and Peyton Manning through like, what, seven, seven touchdown passes on to open up the year. Outside of that kind of result, nothing about this game is going to sway me either way about how the Ravens are going to look during that season, right? Um, if the Ravens win that game, great, uh, versus the Chiefs. If the Ravens win versus the Chiefs, great, right? You get to say that you beat the, the defending champs, all right, and you get, get you confidence going on to propel your season, right? Um, if the Ravens lose this game, play a good game. And nine times out of ten, when the Ravens go up against teams of upper-level competition, right, when they go against teams that are on their level, maybe even a little bit past their level, that's when we get the best Ravens in the regular season, right? That's, I throw that caveat in there, right? In the regular season, that's when we get the best version of the Ravens. So, um you know, I think I saw some of you know previous that the Ravens have are going to have maybe the first or second toughest schedule in the league this year. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, if you look at all the teams, all the playoff teams the Ravens beat last year, and all the games that they struggled in, you can see the discrepancy in in in, in level of play. They did good against good teams. They played mediocre to poor versus bad teams. It's one of the, the biggest conundrums of the John Harbaugh Ravens, right? So, you know, it just is what it is, right? Uh, but as far as this first game versus the Chiefs uh, on Thursday, September 5th, uh, I'm excited for it, right? I think that it's a perfect opportunity. I think the Ravens were a great choice to open up the season. Um, 
and like I said, I don't I don't view it outside of getting embarrassed by 30 points. I don't see how this result can go anywhere that's bad for the Ravens, right? Um, you play a good game, you lose, okay, it's a defending chance, it was that night, whatever. You win the game, now you got momentum going on to the rest of the year. So how I view this game is really a, a no-lose situation kind of for, for the Ravens, right? You know, if you go down on one, it's all on one. Like, you, you, your season is just getting started. You're going to have plenty of time to turn that around, all right? So, um... I'm I'm good with it. I'm excited for it. Uh, I think the Ravens are going to play a, a very, very good game. They're going to be up for it. They're going to be amped about it. Um, you know, seeing that how the game plan went versus the Chiefs, where no running back in the NFC Championship game had more than three carries or three attempts. Um, we, you can bet your bottom dollar that uh, Derrick Henry is going to have more than three rushing attempts, right? You know, you can probably bet he's going to have more than 15 rushing attempts, okay? So, um, you know, just to see how the Ravens play, how they maneuver, you know, how do they use the new weapons out there? Uh, well, not, I'm not going to say new weapons, but how do they use a new personnel group, right? Where they, where they lean a lot more into 12 personnel with, you know, I likely and Andrews on the field at the same time. So, you know, I'm interested in all of that. Um, I think I'm going to use the word again and again, but it, I use the word again and again, but it's, it's a great opportunity for the Ravens to show where they are early on in the year, right? So, um, for me, I'm 100% excited about the fact that the Ravens play the Chiefs opening to open up a season. Uh, I, I think it's a no-lose situation. I think it's a great opportunity for them to show themselves where they're at. And if they lose, they can see, they can see okay, this is where we need to get to if we want to have real aspirations of winning the Super Bowl. So uh, that's my thoughts on it, man. You know, I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, give me your thoughts on it. How do you feel about the Ravens opening up the season versus the Kansas City Chiefs? Are you worried about it? Are you happy about it? You know, you do your wish it was later on in the year. Give me all your thoughts down there in the comments, man. But it's Gabriel, Fiddle Fan TV. I'm out.